Welcome to today's live stream. If you guys are new here, I'm your bestie on the internet. I'm your fairy godmother. I'm your spiritual advisor. I'm your cosmic cheerleader. And you guys need to get comfortable because I'm going in. I made sure to write down today's message. And what else? Um, I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time, but I just wanted to do like a little pep rally for you guys. So gather around, grab whatever you be snacking on, whatever you be sipping on, whatever you be smoking on, because I got some tea. <laughs> I got some tea to spill. You guys are rising from the ashes, okay? You guys are rising from the ashes, surpassing all, all that doubted you. Bust out the confetti, okay? Bust out the confetti and like the stars and the doves. Let, let it all fly out, okay? Cue that shit because you're going to be here forever. You're not going anywhere. Ever. Forever, ever. So, Alexa, play forever. I freaking love that song. And so when I got that as your guys' channeled song, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The T, the T, you guys, you don't even know. Oh my gosh, I'm going in. So, <laughs> without further ado, without further ado, um... Yeah, welcome in guys. Okay, there are people that are screaming at your energy, okay? And making demands as if they are still familiar with you, okay? There are people screaming in your energy, screaming in your vicinity as if they are familiar with you. They are no longer familiar and some have never been. Okay. And what I wrote down for you guys is last name ever, first name greatest. Like a sprained ankle boy, I ain't nothing to play with. Okay. So you can affirm that below. Last name ever, first name greatest. Okay, Alexa, play forever. Let the champagne pop. Let the bubbly spill over. Let the doves out of the cages. Bust out the confetti because you have rose from the dirt, rose from the ashes, can constantly been getting it out of the mud, went through hell, high water, up, uphill, broken glass, snow, all of that, stuck in winter, stagnant, and you're going to surpass all that doubted you. Over and over and over again. Okay? So last name ever, first name greatest. You were and always going to be destined for greatness. This message is going to be super specific. Okay? And as I know this message will reach thousands if not millions all around the world, you will know if this message is for you. Okay, it will be your message to the letter, every bit of it. So if that puts you in a 0.01%, then that's where it puts you because you are one of a kind, one in a million. And all this hardship that you went through in the earlier stages of your life was because you were always going to be a champion. You were always going to be a legend. You were always going to be a hero. You were always going to surpass those around you. So a narrative I'm getting for you guys is being in junior high, being in high school, always knowing that you're a star, okay? You've known that you were a star or that there was something special about you from a very young age. You guys have been different, built different from a very young age. <clears throat> and a lot of people could have tried to trample your dreams try to trample what you stand for or your quirks or just how you guys wear things or what the things that you guys be doing. And 
that has translated even until now, like what you guys have going on in your life. People are like, oh my gosh, why are you doing that? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? So for some reason in this download, you guys need to not only know about yourself and what is going on with you currently and all of the good things that you have coming in, but for some reason, it's going to be very important that you guys know the justice, the judgment, the consequences to fucking with you for those that have been doing it for far too long. They got a whole download on the them. You versus them. That's what type of message this is. Okay? It's always been you versus them. It's always been you against the world. But you guys ride for yourself. Okay? So affirm below. I ride for me. For me. Not for them. But for me. Okay? So you were always destined to rise from the ashes. You are rising above doubt. So affirm it below, okay? Order in the cosmic court. You are rising above. Wings, dragons, ashes. You guys could resonate with the phoenix rising. And like Game of Thrones, The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. And what else? House of Dragons. Okay, I almost forgot. <laughs> Okay, and it's kind of like you guys were like the prince that was promised. If you guys know about Game of Thrones or House of Dragons, you guys are like Aegon, the prince that was promised. And so it's been written in the stars, in the histories that you were always going to be this heroic, legendary, iconic, serving it hot. Okay. So your comeback season, your journey to greatness is here. Bust out the confetti. Alexa, play forever. I love it. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is your story of how you are surpassing all that have doubted you and you have started with less. Okay, let's take it there. A lot of you guys could have had parents that had a little bit of something. But did they give you the silver spoon? No, they gave the silver spoon to somebody else, <laughs> okay? They could have given the silver spoon to their golden child or their favorite child, whatever, what have you. But you were never destined to be given the silver spoon by anybody. You were destined to go get the silver spoon for yourself and to pick the nicest one. And that is how you are maneuvering through life right now. I'm getting a lot about gold and a lot about silver. So maybe these things were like kept from you as a child. You were like <clears throat> a child that should have had all types of jewelry. Like you should have been jeweled. Crown on the head. You should have come out the womb with a crown on your head and just jeweled from head to toe. But that was not the case. And for some reason in your subconscious, you're like, that's always going to be me. Don't know how I'm going to get there, but I will. And you could have started out with like the stuff that turns your wrist orange or green or the jewelry that turns your hands green. You could have started out with that always knowing in the back of your head that one day you will have. Okay. So you guys have grown up with less either because they volunteered for you to have less or you actually had less. You guys always saw people around you being spoiled and not having that fight, that fierceness, that passion because things were handed to them. This is why it was important that you were treated a certain way because if it's handed to you, why would you go work for it? Okay, let me give you guys an example. In my family, I'm obviously not the golden child. I am the black sheep. I am the rebel. I'd be doing it my way. And... I have siblings that they don't have that passion. They don't have that fire. They don't have that like super charge. They don't got that because they were pampered, because they were spoiled. Because of that, they as adults are still sucking at the teat. I never wanted the teat. It actually made me sick. 
okay? Milk as a child made me sick. So, riddle me what? Didn't want it, okay? And part of that reason is because I was never really going to have a connection with my mother. Okay, not that I never wanted one, but because I just didn't, she didn't want one. I didn't want one. We had some type of mutual understanding out the womb, out the gate. I don't like you and you don't like me. Period. The end. I knew from a very early age that <laughs> we just weren't going to get on. Okay, and you guys could have known that from a very early age because you guys are very intuitive. You guys have always been advanced. Always. You guys have a photogenic memory. Your intuition is your superpower. And this memory that you have, you might feel like it's weakened with age. But think about where it started. Your age could feel a little bit, or your memory could be feeling a little bit weakened because your age has been going strong since the age of three. Who really be remembering stuff from the age of three or the age of even four? And that was you guys. So think about how hard your memory has been going strong. Give yourself some grace. Okay. Definitely give your guys yourself some grace. Okay. Hold on. I, um, <clears throat> I feel like people when you were younger could have made fun of you like, oh, you can't remember that far back. Ugh. Like nobody asked them. Nobody asked them. There is a reason why you had memory like that because um, it was going to be important that you remembered the trauma. Okay. There's a lot of things that you guys are serving up and purging right now. Okay. There's a lot of underlying trauma from three and four years old that you guys are seeing that could have affected you with intimacy and certain relationships or just simple ways that you look at yourself, that you look at your self appearance or your physical appearance because of the way your whoever's that were raising you did not breathe life into you, made sure that you were not sucking at the tea, but that was all going to work out in your favor. Okay, and that was all for a reason. So this is the story of how you are surpassing all that have doubted you, all that thought you were crazy, that thought you were weird, that thought you were a pathological liar, all the people that thought you were a narcissist, that thought, you know, you were just full of yourself. For all of those that thought you were vain, conceited, obsessed, delulu, fuck them. But really, though, let's take a moment of silence for the zeros in the sky that we can't give for these people. They're mad because you don't care about them and you didn't listen. You didn't listen. If you had listened, you wouldn't be here. If you had listened to them, you would not be here. You wouldn't even have the audacity to tune into this message because you would have been listening to them. Riddle me that. So we have, this is you guys making it. Your legacy will have people, <laughs> it will cause them to pause. Okay, you guys got all people, like people in all walks of life, pausing. Because you are a miracle walking. Affirm it below. I am miracles walking. I am the walking love spell. I am the walking wish fulfilled. You better ask somebody. Okay, and you have to laugh off the fact that everyone thought you were delusional and that you weren't going to make it. Affirm it below. Look at me now. Alexa, pay, play How Do You Like Me Now? Play forever. Pop the champagne. Let the doves out. Bust out the confetti. Because nobody cares about their opinion. You guys are making it. And this is the impact of your presence. The impact of your presence makes people pause. Leaves people speechless. Jaws on the floor. 
And that's where the hate comes in. And it comes like reeling and spinning and grinning and foaming at the mouth. Okay, your haters, they foam at the mouth. They're chomping at the bit to get a piece of you. And maybe that's why it's like a you versus them type of message. Because you will always have people chomping at the bit. You will always trigger certain things in people where they're going to be just foaming and losing their mind. You guys are basically in a lot of people's heads right now rent free. Even people from the past. And let's see, I lost my place. When everyone puts you to the side, now they, they want in your energy and they want their energy to scream over yours. Okay, these people want not only to be in the vicinity as you, same vicinity as you, they want their energy to scream louder over yours. And so these people are very competitive with you. Everywhere you go, they will be saying congratulations. So affirm it below. Everywhere I go, they'll be saying congratulations. Everywhere you go. Okay, that is you making it. Everywhere you go, you're like, oh my gosh, congratulations. Yes, you are chosen. You are an earth angel. You are a light worker, a star messenger. You are a star. It is your birthright. It is your birthright. And let's see. Your patience, your faith, and your dedication is going to pay off. Okay, I'm going to say that again. Your patience, your faith, and your dedication is going to pay off. And the journey of your transformation has people losing sleep. You are a savage. You are a legend. You know how to fight back through winning. So affirm that below. I know how to fight back through winning. I know how to turn pain into success. I know how to turn doubt into art. Okay, you guys are my lemons and legacies collective. So you guys have this cosmic venom to succeed. To prove yourself wrong. And then all the others will just, you know, also be proved wrong. In the meantime, that you guys are turning pain into success. You are fighting back through winning. You have a cosmic vengeance and you are a cosmic venom and you are turning doubt into art. Only you could monetize it and do it that way. I'm hearing sirens. So you guys definitely have a, co a connection with Archangel Michael. Okay. That's like three squat cars. <laughs> okay. So there are people getting busted. Busted for still feeling some type of way towards you. Busted. You guys are, let's see, your intuition is your superpower. And lately, moving in silence is working really well for you and shocking the hell out of everyone. Okay, so along the journey, along the way, maybe you guys, in the beginning of glowing up, you are really loud. You could have done a lot of over explaining or expounding or telling people because you were just excited and pumped up. You guys don't be doing that now, okay? You guys don't be doing that nowadays. Nowadays, you're just like, should I post it? No. Should I show it off? Nah. Should I talk about these goals? No. And so it's shocking the hell out of people because they're like, well, when did they plan that? When were they doing that? When, like, it's working really well for you. So this is confirmation to keep doing it that way, okay? So... As you guys are shocking the hell out of everyone, these old haters don't deserve to be in your presence, okay? Right now, God, the universe, your angels, your ancestors are making your enemies your footstool. Your table is being prepared in the presence of your enemies, and they will be your footstool, okay? They don't deserve to be in your presence. They do not deserve to be around the confetti. They just don't, okay? They will be your footstool. 
here's you guys riding to victory. And people are like, oh my gosh, like, is that them on a horse? What are they doing? Trotting on by? Excuse me. <laughs> okay. You guys are being and attracting helpful people. You are a helpful person and you are attracting people that are cooperative. People that are like-minded. People that want to be like you. Okay, people that are also inspirational. You are a magnet. You are supercharged to attract like-minded people because you are going through this huge purge, this huge reset of the drama, the gossip, all of the people that try to stop you, everyone that tried to put a sword in your back, they are being purged right now. And you guys have created your legacy. You have created residual income. You have created uh, all of these innovative ideas. You guys are a trendsetter. You guys have always been ahead of your time. Affirm it below. I am ahead of my time. Duh. So there are people that want to commit with commit to you in business okay they're like oh my gosh like will you be my partner will you collaborate with me there's also somebody here that wants to marry you and create this with you okay if you guys are not already married you guys are attracting your soulmate you are attracting like-minded people in business and in love that are also going through their rebirth Okay, and right now it's going to be about quality and not quantity. Okay, so whoever tried to slow you down, you guys, please make sure you're seated for this because this part, I'm, this part, I'm not even going to say twice, <laughs> okay, because it's that harsh, okay, it is that harsh that these people that they just thought that they'd be sitting up on this throne, grinning and doing whatever. They genuinely thought that, I don't know. We'll get, let me get into it. Let me get into it. Let me get into it. Whoever tried to slow you down, whoever tried to smear your name is going through it. Your light is contagious. Okay. Those that have been competing with you are going through it. Okay. Do I have any? Hold on. No, I didn't pull cards on that. But I have this. Okay. This is how they see you. They're like, oh my gosh, I don't understand. That was supposed to be my throne. My mom said it was going to be mine. My dad said that it was going to be mine. My sugar daddy said that it was going to be my throne. I don't understand. They're so confused. Okay. It's okay though. It's okay. Someday they will get it. They are attempting to make big moves in their life. Okay. They are attempting to make big moves in their life. But they are secretly feeling trapped. I am hearing that there are three to four mothers. Okay. Whoever you guys are dealing with. You guys are dealing with three to four mothers that really got beef with you. So I don't know if this is like your mother and then a mother-in-law and then or they're like old enemies and their moms but I'm getting mothers specifically or somebody that played a, like a mother type of role to you so there are three to four mothers that are in competition with you and you are in their head at all times rent free they are dragging and draining their funds I mean, busting the piggy bank wide open, breaking their bank to be like you and still looking busted. Okay, still looking busted because they have never had an original idea in their brain ever. Everything they do is to like copy and emulate you. Like if it looks like you have friends, they're like, I got friends. If it looks like you've got teamwork, they're like, I got teamwork. They could be paying those people. Those people could really hate them. They're trying to make it look like they have residual income. Like they're glowing up and it's a facade. It is a rouge. It is fake. And it is important, I guess, that you know what has been unfolding because they have not really let up. Okay. And so if you guys watched yesterday's message, then this is definitely yours where we talked about cue the good stuff. Okay. Cue the good stuff. Because 
it's your time to shine, okay? You guys have waited so long. So these people are draining their funds, breaking their bank to be you and still looking busted. Piggy bank turned to dust. They are being caught red-handed in their obsession with you. Devil energy that is coming for your rebirth, okay? Devil energy is coming for your rebirth. Devil energy doesn't want you freaking glowing up. So who do you think he's going to use? Oh my gosh, guess what? The Decepticons in the back. Okay, devil energy doesn't want you to have your throne, doesn't want you glowing up, doesn't want you having this legacy, doesn't want none of that for you, okay? Doesn't want you having these cosmic connections, and that's why you guys have, like, this cosmic venom to live your best life, because you're always going to be dealing with the attacks, you're always going to be dealing with the warfare. Devil energy is coming for your rebirth your boss up, and you are releasing toxic people. Devil energy is coming for those that are coming in to support you. Okay, so devil energy is like, oh, these friends. That's why you guys moving in silence is so important. And I talked to you guys about this yesterday and in the live stream before why I steer clear of like shouting certain friends out whatever what have you because if they cannot go for you because your boundaries are sky high they couldn't find it with a ladder two hands and a map they're like they're gonna go for the people around you the people the helpful people that are being brought towards you to help with this boss up to help with this change so you guys have your enemies walking on eggshells. I don't know if you guys know that or not. You guys have your enemies walking on eggshells because you know what they're up to. You know what they're doing. And double energy doesn't want you having support or friends. And that's why your privacy, you moving silently has to stay like till the end of time. Because it's you guys covering your loved ones. Okay? It's you guys covering your loved ones. Let's see. You guys have your enemies walking on eggshells, trying to avoid red flags, trying to avoid you, and trying to avoid disaster in their life. They know that there are these toxic connections that they're trying to make look like roses, but it smells like absolute dog shit. Okay, they're trying to make it look like, oh my gosh, I got the same things as you. <laughs> no, they really do not. They have these toxic connections, toxic relationships that smell like, roses really smell like boo, boo, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay, and we have your enemies are, are in survival mode and going through financial loss. Okay, they have these these karmic connections that they're dealing with. So if you haven't really seen what they're up to, Blaze, thank you for your donation. If you guys haven't really seen what they're up to and then you hear it through the grapevine and you're just like, who would be with them? What is going on? That poor soul. Some of them are just as karmic. Some of these connections are just as karmic. And... These people are vain and immature, dishonest, corrupt, and justice is here. Their secrets and their skeletons are coming to light. You guys. Their secrets and their skeletons are coming to light. The dirt that they've been doing is, in fact, coming to the surface. And let's see. They've been towards you, an aggressive bully, with how they've been brutal, how they've been rude. They've been overly critical of you to your face and behind your back. They're very intimidated by your... They were intimidated when you were dusted and busted and didn't have a lot. And so just think about how crazy they're going now. And because that, they're going to suffer. Because they have been reckless around you, because they have been overly critical of you, they are suffering with having their creativity blocked. And this is why they copy you a lot. Because part of their judgment, part of their karma, part of their justice 
is not being able to get it out of the mud, not having the clarity, being in a fog, because they're always trying to put you in a fog. They don't want you progressing. And them always praying for your downfall is just showing them that's a bad idea for real. Like, for real, for real. Hi, Randon. Hi, Haley. Hi, Lucky. Hi, Marcy Lynn. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Alexis. Hi, guys. Okay, so... But one big download, like, holy freaking cow. Whatever they have done, it is going to make life a bumpy ride. So you guys are in the clear. Live your... Live your best life. They have... They have like made their bed. Now they gotta lay in it. They refuse to change. So don't feel don't feel too bad for them. They refuse to change. They refuse to learn. Their karmic partner might be losing a job. I don't know why this was important, but it's what came in the download. So somebody needs to hear this. Their karmic partner might be losing a job, dealing with delays. This is an abusive, toxic relationship. Their karma together is insecurity, scarcity, lack of growth, miscommunication, poor judgment, being bored or boring, and bad investments. Okay. <laughs> so they got a lot of false positivity, poverty, hardship, toxic friendships, delayed actions, divorce, breakup, Things being canceled, family feuds, separation, lack of community, no control, overindulgence, and public embarrassment. When I wrote this, I was like, whoa. <laughs> like, what? This is their karma. It was so long, you guys. I was like, what? Their karma together is insecurity, scarcity, lack of growth miscommunication, poor judgment, being bored or boring, bad investments, false positivity, pover bleh, poverty, hardship, toxic friendships, delayed action, divorce, breakup, things being canceled, family feuds, separation, lack of community, no control, overindulgence, and public embarrassment. That tells me how much dirt they've been doing, how much shit they've been talking, how many things they've been plotting, and how much praying they've been doing on your downfall. They had God all the way effed up. They had, they were definitely confused, okay? These people could be in your family. That could be part of the problem, okay? So these people have been doing this dirt for a long time. These mothers, this group of mothers, I don't know if they know each other, a couple of them could, but these people could be in your family and they've been doing this dirt for longer than you knew or realized and this is why you've been relocated. A lot of you guys have already been relocated or removed and looked at it as rejection, but it was definitely your protection. They see a light in you and they want to smother this light. Literally, they want to like suffocate it. They want to smother it. And I don't think they, they don't like how they feel provoked or triggered when you're around. They really feel triggered. And I feel like that's because you guys are these people's worst nightmare. Okay. And I tell you guys that all the time. You guys are a narcissist's worst nightmare. The best way to deal with these type of people is to act like they don't exist. They really hate that. They really hate that. It works like a charm every time because their oxygen is adoration and attention so they can reel you in breadcrumb you be like oh yeah these are glow in the dark crumbs come here come taste this apple and then discard you and so you guys know what you're doing you just you just ignore them and they really hate that okay when my enemies are around 
not often. Oh, dirt bike. So confirmation <laughs> when my enemies are around, which is not often. I, they don't exist. They are not in the room. You are mastering unbothered. They want you to be sweating them, heated, bothered, provoked, never. You are their worst nightmare. Okay, you are their worst nightmare. They cannot smother your light. They cannot trigger you. They cannot provoke you. And so you guys are being blessed with true love, loyalty, unconditional courtship, bearing fruit, merriment, maturing, just your dreams coming true and success pouring into your life. Okay, so affirm it below. Success is pouring into my life. I rise above doubt daily. You are rising above the ashes, rising above the naysayers, rising above the doubt daily. I turn pain into miracles, okay? These are your affirmations. I turn pain into miracles. I'm kind of a, a big deal, okay? I'm kind of a big deal. I'm iconic. I am lovable, duh, okay? I am lovable, duh. Bust out the confetti, cue the good stuff, okay? Bust out the confetti, cue the good stuff. My energy is contagious, okay? My energy is contagious. I am overwhelmed by God's love and affection for me. Or you could use the divine or the universe or your angels or your ancestors, whatever your beliefs are. The universe is always conspiring in my favor. Okay, the universe is always conspiring in my favor. So I love that for you guys. It's like, I'm lovable, duh. Um, yeah, you guys were always made fun of in school or in the past for different ways that you did things. And now those things are cool. And now those things are being copied. Riddle me what? People are finding it theatrical, glamorous, intriguing the way that you guys move. And they're a little bit salty. They're a little bit salty that they didn't come up with that themselves. Okay. Do not be afraid to sing. Don't be afraid to sing. Whoever told you that you couldn't and that you can't, yes, you can. And you will. Okay. The more singing you do, the more speaking that you do, the more that your throat chakra will be activated, the more that your voice will be amplified. Oh my gosh, I forgot to say this in the intro. If you guys are on members only, if you, I keep hearing bikes. If you guys are on members only, um, you guys have a video being uploaded today. Okay, so if you guys are members only, you guys have a video being uploaded today. Um, ad free. So wings, you never needed those wings to fly. You guys thought for a long time that you needed their wind beneath your wings. You thought that you needed their guidance or their rearing or their support. And you're actually figuring out that their support would have actually crippled you. Their support would have slowed you down. It would have poisoned you even further. And so it's a blessing that you guys did not have their support, that you did not have their wind beneath your wings. And then we have thorns. You are weaving together the crown that you deserve. Many times throughout your life, whoever I'm speaking to, you've tried to weave together your own crown. Crown. Oh, Mercury. And people thought, oh my gosh, they're so delusional. Are they seriously wearing a crown? Like, who does that? And so people could have literally snatched this crown out of your hand, metaphorically or physically, and snapped it. And so you guys have always been rebuilding your sense of royalty, building your confidence. And so here you are again, building this crown, and it has thorns to remind you of the pain that you've endured that has gotten you this far the pain that you have released the guilt that you have released and it kind of is going to poke people if they try to snatch it off of your head okay you guys are big 
and bad because you guys make the changes necessary that other people couldn't even imagine doing. You have your enemies walking on eggshells for a reason because they are constantly in relationships trying to avoid red flags. Your enemies are very codependent on toxic relationships. And so they're like, they always need somebody by their side. They're always, they could be committing adultery or always in a love triangle or always having an affair. And there's never a break between them getting out of one relationship and into another. Okay, something that I got as part of their download is there is always drama surrounding their love life or their relationships. So what will happen with them is they will be dating somebody or married to someone and then when they get bored of them or the other person gets bored of them, whatever will have you, they start meddling in somebody else's life. Causing chaos, wrecking homes, wreaking havoc, and then they get with that person that they were having the affair with and then they discard this other person. Very narcissistic, whoever these people are. That is why you are not only their nightmare, you are their reoccurring nightmare, okay? You are a reoccurring nightmare and they can never quite figure you out. You wear many hats, you have many crowns, you have many masks to protect, your, protect yourself and it's like your mighty shield. If today you want them to think you are the biggest dits, that is what they will think. You have them eating out of the palm of your hand. You guys could be going through memories, okay? There's a lot about your guys' memory, what you have stored in your memory, looking through pictures and just remembering your journey because this is the story, the narrative of your transformation and how you've risen above doubt continuously, it is your turn to be highly favored and for it to not go anywhere. A lot of the time when you guys would get some comeuppance, there would be a tower or an upheaval and you guys are finally getting to a point of stability where it's not going to flatline. Having luck and incredible favor, your potential is endless. You are a true magician. You are truly magical. You are truly galactic. And you hold the power of three. Okay. You guys have always had to do things for yourself. You have this big sense of independence. And it just goes to show that you have the power of three to five people. Like you've got five job codes and you do it well. Nobody can multitask better than you. Part of this could be because of your ADD or ADHD or OCD, but it also works in your favor because you guys know how to keep busy and this helps you with your side hustles, residual income, your talents, your gifts, your abilities, and people are just stunned. Your power is electric. I love it. An important end and a new beginning. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, these people do not want to admit that it's over between you guys. Maybe you've been in separation with some of these people before, but then like reconciled. You're not reconciling this time. You're not reconciling and they don't even know how to wrap their brain around it. They can't even think clearly to get ideas on how to like reel you back in. They're like drawing a blank. Something lovely will grow from this. You guys are done planting seeds of doubt. You are done planting seeds of desperation. You are done planting seeds for other people. And so there is a lot you are releasing in this cycle of your life. And you are very particular about who is on your path. And who you're involved with. Part of your good karma is that you guys are getting this creative new be beginning in how you take action or lack thereof. Maybe you guys were always heavy in your masculine energy, always feeling like you have to do, 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 go, go, go. And now it is your time to receive. It is your time to be like, you know what? I'm a pass go no matter what. 
no matter what. Okay, Alexa, play forever. What was that? What was the lyrics? Last name ever, first name greatest. Like a sprained ankle, boy, I ain't nothing to play with. You are nothing to play with. You are no one to play with. You are a smoke show. This is something you're going to be realizing about yourself. Like you bring your milkshake to the yard. You might be lactose intolerant and your milkshake is serving. Okay. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Your chariot is here. Also part of your good karma, your journey. So bust out the confetti. Some of you guys are going to be moving to a place that you've always wanted to move. Relocating for once voluntarily not involuntarily and getting the car of your dream some of you guys are getting ready to buy something of your dreams okay i saw in yesterday's live stream somebody said a louis vuitton somebody's getting a louis vuitton like you are not just securing bags you might be buying bags and moving because you want to move going because you want to go we have strength you guys have resilience like nobody else. That's why I told you guys, you guys went up the hill, broken glass, barefoot, stuck in winter, stagnant. You guys got it out of the ashes, out of the dust, out of the dirt. People are a little, they're a little upset. Okay, they're a little upset. We got the Ace of Pentacles. Like the good karma just keeps coming. You guys are going to be feeling giddy, childlike. Affirm it below. I am in an echo chamber of merriment. I am in an echo chamber of merriment. You guys have new opportunities coming in. And so other people might not consider these opportunities, but you guys redefine what luxury means to you and what freedom means to you and what being liberated means to you. So this means you working from home, being able to afford daycare, being able to afford a nanny, being able to buy your dream car, um, being able to put money in savings, being able to buy a rental, just whatever it is that you're wanting to do, these are not only part of your legacy, but things that you're creating, things that you want to do, and things that you are going to continuously dominate in. You guys could be learning about real estate. You guys could be learning about finance. I'm just getting that. You guys are getting more confidence in the fact that it's like you're figuring out loopholes, not just cheat codes, but loopholes on how to live a better life. Okay, wink, wink, are you getting what I'm saying? You guys are figuring out the loopholes to life, how the successful people live, how, um, you know, the things that like the people that raised you wouldn't teach you, even though they might have the knowledge. They did not want to set you up for success. And now they're going to have to, they're going to have to deal with that, the consequences of that. Okay, you guys, who needs a love message before the advice? I want to do this quickly. So drop your hearts down below. Um, when you drop your hearts, put single or in a relationship. And that will tell me who I need to read for first. Okay. As you guys are doing that, I'm going to shuffle the advice to the side for after. Wow. Getting a lot of singles. Okay. Singles is first. <laughs> Whoa. Free yourself. So somebody just said it in the comments. Like, I'm just going to love me better. Like, no one's going to love me better than me. Um, some of you guys could be thinking like, I'm in a great relationship with God or the universe. Like, why would I want somebody fraudulent to come in and spoil it for me? So we have, it's time to take control. It's time to take back control of your life. Okay. Those of you that are single, it is time to take control, whatever that means to you. But singles, as that's happening, 
somebody is going to try to reconcile. So if you guys just recently broke up with somebody, guess, guess who's going to be tippity typing, trying to message you. You guys could have recently blocked them. I don't know if they're going to send their mother. I'm getting a download like they could be sending a relative to come and talk to you, bring you a sweater you forgot. Like they're looking for anything in their home to try to like have it brought back to you to reconcile. Someone from your past is trying to return. I know it's annoying, but it also is Mercury do, do, do. And you guys are not going to accept it. You guys are not going to accept it because this person, whoever this is, they played you so hard, so hard. Like you won't let them play you again because there ain't no coming back from that. You are not going to let this person embarrass you not one more time. Not one more time are you going to let this person embarrass you. Yeah, block party on that ass, but for real. You're like, oh my gosh, what could I, what could I give back to them? Did they leave a sweater here? Did they leave a candle? No, don't even try it. Don't even try it. Nobody's coming to the door, my dude. My girl, 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 get. Nobody's coming to the door. Nobody's answering. No, that's not happening. Make the effort. You guys are only accepting those that will make the effort, they better climb, okay? So something you've been realizing, you've been listening to like podcasts or motivational girly groups or guy groups, or maybe you've just been listening to me <laughs> and you're like, they better make the effort. Anybody new coming into my life after what I just dealt with? Ooh, I'm hearing high pitch ringing in my ears. You guys could definitely, my singles, be clear audience and you have somebody approaching you that has high vibrational energy. It's going to kind of throw you off. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So if you guys meet somebody new in the next one to two weeks and you hear a high pitch ringing in your ear, let them express their love. Okay, let them express their love because somebody is coming in to make a romantic gesture. So you are going to be given some signs. Um, it could be high pitch ringing, a buzzing. There could be something that you hear or see as a sign, like feathers, or you hear sirens. Something is going to give you the ding or notification while you're talking to this person, or you're going to see certain angel numbers. You will have immediate chemistry with this person. You will not feel weird or uncomfortable um i'm telling you guys this is year of the dragon okay you guys could be like no i don't want to no i don't want to meet anybody but it's gonna happen because you want to know why it's gonna happen because you don't want it to happen so it's like the best type of vibe be wanting it not to happen that's when it's gonna come through with the quickness I love it. There is a strong magnetic connection here. What did I tell you? Hello, new love, who dis? So my singles, you guys are going through a rebirth and you are like, it's a time for me. It's a time for spirit. I don't want to be codependent on nobody, which is a really good look for you. This is why it's bringing everybody else in like a magnet because you are repelling it. Okay, when we are repelling things like, ew, no, mm -mm, no, that's when it's like, can I take you out? Let me buy you some flowers. Girl, what are you up to? Boy, what are you doing? Hey, can I holler at you? And it's because you're repelling it. You are denouncing love. Okay, you are canceling love. You're like, I don't want no parts of that. I'm good. And... So you have like exes that are really going to be eating their, their words of how they tried to play with you. But you guys have a new person who is going to stir romantic feelings in you. And this is the thing. Both of you might try to fight it. But you will get an unbelievable amount of signs and synchronicities. This person will get guidance and be like, It'll feel like there is a magnet pulling them towards you. You will be trying to repel the magnet and 
you will be getting signs and synchronicities. So be tuned into that. Okay. <laughs> so it's coming. Okay, it is coming. Wow. I'm just getting that they're going to get signs and they're not going to be able to explain. It's going to be the universe and the angels and the ancestors and God, like, conspiring. This is a part of your destiny. Okay? So this also tells me that this wouldn't even be coming in unless you were on top of your game. Or you weren't purging things that, like, really just do not serve you in your life. Like, if you were not trying to get sober or trying to change your life around or really trying to get a new group of friends or really trying to get a fresh start, this wouldn't even be coming in. This would not even be coming in. Okay. All right. Let's get into relationships. Whoa. Stay optimistic about your love life. Okay. Those of you guys in relationships, Positive thinking. Remember, this is a time for great miscommunication and other people, I feel like you guys are on top of your communication skills, right? But that doesn't mean that everybody else is, especially during Mercury, especially during this transit. And Mercury is here to make us repeat things that we ignored in the last retrograde. So if there is something that you were trying to fix in your love life in the last retrograde, but then you swept it back under the rug, or there was an important lesson and you got like halfway there and you're like, ah, I'll get, I'll get to that later. Mercury is bringing it back in again, high key on some airy shit, trying to tell you, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We haven't solved this problem yet. Is it intimacy? Is it... Um, members only, you guys are also getting a love message already uploaded. So be looking for that notification. But there is something in your love life that you have overlooked. And it's either listening or saying yes more or being more spontaneous. There is something, think about that one something that you're like, oh, I've been saying I was going to work on that. But I really haven't. And it might be really easy for you to want to blame the other person. No, they're agitated. They're coming at me sideways. They're being a weirdo. They're doing this. It's very easy to point the finger at them. Like, no, 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 no. It's them. But really think about where you've been trying to change. It could have been something that they've been asking you to do. Maybe it's to help out more or to work less or to pump the brakes with Everything that you do for the kids, lighten your load. Um, there's some type of agreement that you guys have that maybe you feel like you haven't been working on. Like you have been making steps towards it, but you haven't fully. This is what is affecting it. And so Spirit is saying, stay positive about that because it's not that it's not going to be that hard to figure out what it is. And your feelings might be a little bit hurt by some of the things this person has been saying to you. But really think about if you've been saying some of that to yourself. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? If they're saying, I don't know when things got so complacent or so boring or so basic. or And you're like, I'm not basic. I'm not crazy. I'm not. But think about it and be honest with yourself. You don't even have to put it in the comments. Has some of that you've been saying to yourself, like, I need more spice. I need more sauce. I need more flavor. I need more passion. These are things you've already been saying to yourself. So do not let them trigger it because it's something that you have not accepted that you are going to work on. Retrograde is like, oh, remember this? We said we were, we were working on it. But are we? But are we? But are we? Okay, so let's see. I'm telling you, if this is your guys' message, you guys need to be on members only because I literally got this for your guys', some of this download for your guys' message on members only. It will be posted after this live stream. There are children or inner child healing affecting your love life. So let me back it up. Remember when we were talking about the download and you guys having this memory from three or four years old and you guys could be really hard on yourself like, 
oh, I feel like my memory is so shoddy nowadays. Think about how long you've been remembering things. You've been remembering things since you were three. You've been remembering things since you were four. It's not even normal. So there is some type of trauma that has to do with your physical appearance or there is some trauma that has to do with things that you saw as a child. And so there's either inner child healing or there is inner child trauma or actual children in your life that are like kind of getting in the way. And so Mercury is bringing this back around to say, hey, it doesn't have to be like a whole meltdown, but we do need to address that this is affecting your love life. Okay, say it was your parents had a very toxic relationship. And so that's all you really know. And from a very young age, and so maybe there's this belief within you that things would never really be that spicy forever or that good forever. Everyone gets traded out or upgraded. Grass is greener syndrome. There are certain things going through your head and that is where you're going to break the generational curses. Because if you really think about it, you'll be good and G damned before you let whatever these fucked up people did ruin your love life your soulmate connection your divine counterpart your soulmate your twin flame your kingdom spouse whoever it is okay whoever it is playfulness oh my gosh you guys need to be on members we have playfulness there is something that you guys need to get back to and that is Recapturing romance, allowing your inner youthful spirit to have fun and shine, okay? So maybe you guys got married, had kids, and then everything went downhill. And you're like, oh my gosh, like it's not the same. What is happening? And maybe you saw your parents do that, okay? But I'm getting that some of you guys are really hard on yourself with being playful okay so maybe you're like Brittany when I first got into this relationship I was totally faking it and I was just pretending and doing what I thought they wanted to see or what they wanted to hear and I didn't know what I was doing and maybe you have some sort of like embarrassment or fear about acting silly like that again and not being judged or it, you know it's kind of like trying to get back into the saddle again and in fear of look but in fear of looking weird. You're like, they're going to be like, what are you doing? You're trying to be sexy? Why are you trying to be sexy? What are you doing? Just do it. Because doing that is better than doing nothing. Okay? Doing that is better than doing nothing. So we have let your friends help you. You guys have friends coming in and you might be like, oh, no, no. Don't you tell me about my love life. Don't do it. You just might need one person. You guys might be very private about your love life. Maybe there's one person that can like, that's younger. Maybe they're in their whole era. We don't know. We're not judging them neither. But maybe you need to ask them what the kids be doing nowadays. Whatever they're doing. Just to get some fresh vibes <laughs> in the mix. Okay. I can't. Whoa. Give your relationship a chance. Some of you guys feel like giving up. You're like, because you're going to have to put in work into an area that you were uncomfortable. And so this is something that's been getting brushed under the rug because the dopamine has ran out. The oxytocin, all the love hormones have started to fizzle. And you're like, what's happening? So you are having to take accountability for your role. Mercury's like, hello, let's look at this. And you're like, it's not my fault. It's their fault. They called me a name. They didn't pick up their socks. So fuck them. That's the type of vibe I'm getting right now. Those are the downloads that I'm getting. So work on your partnership. It's going to be okay. It's actually going to make you guys stronger. Okay. Love yourself first. And as you guys are trying to put effort into your relationship... You are also seeing where you need to slow down to put love into yourself because sometimes we let ourselves go. 
we have children and we're like, oh, I don't have time to do my freaking hair. I don't have time to do my little mask and my little bubble bath. I don't have time to do any of that crap. And we are needing to get back to that where we put everybody on do not disturb. You take the kids. I'm taking a bubble bath. I'm not answering the phone for none of you. It's mommy time or it's daddy time. And whatever that is for you, like be okay with giving everybody the finger. Okay, maybe don't give your children the finger, but do you know what I mean? Like put yourself first because then it's going to be a better version of you loving your children, loving your person, and you could put your best foot forward because you're going to be feeling good. Okay, the more you spoil yourself and have time with yourself, recognizing what you really need to have your cup full, you're going to have your cup running over because of yourself. And then you're going to be like, I guess you can pour it into it. But it's going to make it easier because you're going to have more confidence. You're going to feel like you're ready to play. You're ready to slay. You refuse to let this relationship get stagnant. Okay. <laughs> we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, we have true love and faith. You guys are, are true love and trust. This is the romance of a lifetime, but like say for marriage, marriage is work. Marriage is not like, <laughs> woo, like we, it's not that type of ride all the time. It takes work, people change, they go through ups, they go through downs, they go through deaths, they go through... Um, loss, they go through grieving, they go through all types of things. And so it matters how you guys are there for one another and the trust that you guys have and the faith that you have that you can turn this car around. Okay, I really hope that that helped you guys, those of you guys that are single and in relationships. And yeah, okay, I'm going to go over you guys' advice. Be thinking about a question, okay? At the end of the live stream, I've been answering a question for you guys where I don't pull any cards. I just give you life advice. So be thinking about that because I'm not going to read it until we get through the advice, okay? Your advice is to continue walking away from drama. We have last name ever, first name greatest, like a sprained ankle. Boy, I ain't nothing to play with. It's just like my anthem. Okay, we vibrate high, high as heaven. We stay prayed up and strapped in every sense of the word. Our destiny is ours by birthright. Don't start none, won't be none. Like a sprained ankle, boy, I ain't nothing to play with. Sense of curiosity. Spirit is saying you are going to be getting blessed with this new sense of curiosity. Curiosity for the life that you know that you deserve. And so you're really going to be putting in the work, logging in the hours. I'm also getting that a lot of this is going to, you're going to be getting a lot of down downloads while you're doing things that you need to work on. So if it's you spending more time out in nature, you're going to get more downloads in that area. If it's you needing to take more bubble baths, <clears throat> you're going to get more downloads in that area. Okay, you will get more creative juices flowing the more you are working on those things that you are like, oh, I've been slacking there. It would really help me be grounded. It would really help with my creativity. It would really help with my love life. It would really help with my confidence. We have spiritual teacher. You guys do this without even realizing it. You are a spiritual teacher. There are many people that are inspired by you and that see you as a legend. This is a time not only for transformation, but expansion and awakening and rapid healing. So think about it. If you are willing to put in the work towards some healing, inner child healing, some shadow work, things that have been aggravating you about your relationship, you're going to get, things are going to move more rapidly for you where because you're actually addressing it, it's almost like it's going to be expedited. We have family time. You guys are also going to be working on deepening your relationships with not only your lover, but your family bonds. I love that for you guys. We have the sunflower, destiny, and baller status. 
You guys are going to be the big bad wolf of the forest. Everything is in full bloom. Everything. Some of you guys could be my late bloomers, black sheep, ugly ducklings, underdogs, and you are securing many bags. Many. Several. Okay? Say it with me. Several. And then we have destiny. This is all part of your destiny. The rest is still unwritten. Okay? So... You were destined to rise above the ashes. You were destined to rise above the doubt. Your comeback season, your journey to greatness. Bust out the confetti. Alexa, play forever. Like, break out the champagne. Bust out the dubs. Free the dubs. And see that you are surpassing all. This is how you are surpassing everybody. I'm here for it. Your legacy will have many <laughs> pausing. You guys made it and this will, this is the impact of your presence. When everyone you put to the side now wants their energy to scream over yours, thinking that they're important, everywhere you go, they'll be saying congratulations. Your patience, your faith, and your dedication is paying off. And yeah, this is the journey of your transformation. It has people losing sleep. Let's see. Your guys' affirmations one more time is... I rise above doubt daily. I turn pain into miracles. I'm kind of a savage. I just added that. <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal. I'm iconic. I am lovable. Duh. Bust out the confetti. Cue the good stuff. My energy is contagious. <laughs> you best believe it. I am overwhelmed by the love that God or my angels, or my ancestors, or the universe has for me, you guys fill in the blank. The universe is always conspiring in my favor. Best believe it. Okay, who's got a question before I go? Hi, Savage Queen. Anybody else double fisting the caffeine? <laughs> <laughs> members only you guys have a message that will be posted shortly after this live stream thank you olivia does anybody have a question <laughs> Playing James Brown, the big payback. I love that. Did anybody post a question? Let's see. There's a Gladiator 2 coming out. Are you serious? That's awesome. Should I give my daughter space? Is she an adult? Sometimes it's good to give people space because it makes their heart grow fonder. And sometimes when people feel like we're chasing and mowing down their energy, that's when they're like, oh, wait, I thought you like wanted to smother me. What's happening? Yes, 18. Um, Yeah, because I feel like when kids are 18, okay, this is my personal opinion, they need a little bit of wiggle room to make their own errors. I wouldn't let them go too far off. But say you guys have a really close relationship, the more you kind of give them space, the more they'll like, you know, when babies start walking, they're like, I got this. They might fall. They are going to reach for you. Sometimes when you have a good relationship with your parent, you're going to reach for them as soon as you start to like, I could walk. My training wheels are off. They're going to kind of, you know, stumble. And so space can be good. Space can be healthy. And. I have a business idea. Should I pursue it? Yes. If you've been thinking about a business idea for a long time. And, you know, not all business ideas work out. Okay, let's be real. Not all business ideas work out. Thank you, Hannah, for your donation. 
um, how will my date go tomorrow? I'm not pulling cards on anything, so it's kind of like life advice instead of like future advice. But I appreciate your question <laughs> um, and your donation. I think that your date will go well if you keep an open mind and just like kind of remember that keep an open mind your the person that you're thinking is your dream person could really differ from what you know you think so an open mind is important and key second it will go well if you guys don't talk about exes it will go well if you guys um don't talk about your past okay so it's kind of just like a you know and then with the business idea i think that we have to make mistakes with businesses. We have to go through trial and error. Think about entrepreneurs. They've had tons of businesses or a couple of businesses that haven't worked out. Not all businesses are great, but you can start out. Maybe it's good to have investors so you're not even effing with your own money. You're effing with other people's money. Not like that, but you know what I mean. And so sometimes it's good to have people investing so you don't, you're not losing your home, your car, your kid's tuition. And then if it like takes off running, then you can invest more money into it. So sometimes it's just, you know, as educated as you can be, it could be the economics of it. And so it's important to know that not all businesses pan out. It will be part of your destiny, the ones that do. Okay. Is it normal to go through major creating blocks and then be out of it for a couple days? Yes. Absolutely. We cannot be creative 24-7. And sometimes it we're going through the creative blocks because there's so much attention on us and negative energy being sent our way. Sometimes it's because there are internal battles that we're going through, things that we need to work on. And what I do when I'm going through creative blocks is I can tell like it's time for me to like pump the brakes and like chill. Um, sometimes it depends on if your creative block is because it's monetized or not. So you guys could be putting like a lot of pressure on your creativity because you really need it to pan out. It's kind of like when an artist comes out with an album, they put all their pain, all their breakups, all their aggravation into those songs and it's like their best their first album is always the best and then because they don't want to be forgotten about they try to pump out whatever and people are like oh it's not the same it's not hitting the same so sometimes it's good for us to have a break from creativity because we got to go through some life we got to go through some experiences and that's why like I try to stay dabbled in the 3d a little bit even though I could fully you know not have to or try to just make content or work from home but being dabbled in reality brings in pain it brings in aggravation it brings in annoyance it brings in more channel downloads okay and so for me that's where i get my creativity is the fuckery of it all and it makes it easier and so i pray for that not for the fuckery but i pray for creativity creative flow and I channel those messages differently. And so sometimes we need to be around, you know, not like saying you need to be in a toxic relationship to make a good album. Not saying anything like that, but sometimes you need to be around some people or some normalcy instead of being so secluded or so isolated to really like, you know, like have a muse sometimes. Do you think I'm being harsh by putting distance on a 10 year relationship or friendship? from being on a bad vacation, throwing me under, okay, you know what? This reminds me of when I was like 10 years old. Sometimes we can have a real good friend and then go camping with them. Sometimes we can have a real good friend and then be stuck with them for a week. And we're like, I don't know how I could stand you before. Sometimes living situations or vacations will change. It will change the game. Sometimes money or lending, I didn't even read the rest of your question. Hold on. Throwing me under the bus for guys we just met and ignoring my suggestions or boundaries. Oh, hell to the naw. That was just showing you what she could try to do to you. So definitely, definitely not. No. Sometimes we are put in those situations so we can be shown, hey, 
this is who this person really is. You will see a person who they really are. Take them to the club. Fuck around and find out. Take their ass to the club and see if they leave you there for whoever comes walking by. That will show you the thirst is real. Take their ass on vacation. See if they pick up the tab. See if they're, you know, being a whole weirdo. If they're trying to get out of paying for things. See how they travel. See how they act in, you know, the spotlight or in a club. They'll literally tell you a lot about someone. No, I don't think... I put a 20-year relationship on pause. I'm going to say that again. I put a 20-year relationship on pause. Friendship. Because... They tried to play me for an idiot. They left me on my wedding day, okay? They left me on my wedding day and just couldn't carry out being supportive. And they were the only one that knew how to get me in and out of my dress, which was double corseted, had a bustle, had a million buttons, had a long train. They were the only one that went to the fittings and knew how to do that. My friendship of 20 years got thrown out the fucking window because I was like, I will never again let you do that to me. I couldn't breathe like my whole wedding because she decided, oh, my person has a headache. I got to go. I'm like, girl, we're just getting out of the ceremony. You can't leave me. Can you at least show somebody else like how to get me in my dress? Just left me there for dead. Like, no, we got to tighten this, loosen it, tighten it, loosen it for the first dance for pictures. And she just left me screwed. And three of my friends did that. I had many friends that left right after the ceremony. They had all me they had me all the way fucked up. I put them all on the chopping block and I am not sorry. I am not. So if this person was so quick to go hop around with these guys, maybe you know they're not just emo they're not emotionally mature yet they're just like not there yet. They've got some things to go through cuz I kind of used to be like that. When I would get out of a relationship, um, when I was an addict and an alcoholic, I would leave my fucking friends like, oh, bye. I was so freaking selfish. Like, you guys, I was a completely different person. Now, I would never do that. But back then, I was like, I can get new friends. What? <laughs> like, what? What? Yeah, wedding dress drama is definitely jealousy. Like, it was hard just to get her there. I was like, girl, my mom's not here. My sisters aren't here. Nobody's here. Will you come? And she was like, I knew she was going through it. She was going through a divorce. But she decided that she was going to become a lesbian, which I was fine with and I supported. But then she was bringing her new girlfriend to my fittings. And then like, we're going to go out to lunch after. Bye. I'm like, what kind of fucked up friend are you? Like, I'm being supportive through your divorce. I'm getting married. You got a new relationship. You're bringing her here. Fine, whatever. But don't like try to make me feel bad that you guys got like lunch going on and I'm not invited. And then she told me like, oh, my girlfriend has a headache. I got to go. It's the wedding though. Today's the wedding. We did. We just had so many fittings for this, for the alterations. Like you can't just leave. Like nobody's going to get it or understand it. It's like German. Okay. I ain't sorry. I ain't sorry. Yeah. Weddings and funerals. Yep. Always shows people and their ass and who they are. I'm telling you. But yeah, sometimes friends, like, they just got a lot of growing to do. And then after you drop them, they'll make those, sp they'll make all those mistakes and spiral and spiral and spiral. L give them space. Let them concoct their own mess without you around. And just tell them, like, I just, need to, I just need a break. I just need a break from you. It'll be okay. I just need a break. A toxic relationship is not good for kids. It's better to co-parent. Agreed. It's better to co-parent. Having somebody absolutely drain the life out of your happiness is not good to have around your kids because think about the damage it did to us okay let's think about the damage that it did to us while we were just seeing some of the toxic traits that our family our parents had my parents oh my gosh like the amount of therapy that I freaking need for what I've seen and what they've done and it's hard 
And so though we might have, you know, a dependency on the other person financially, whatever, what have you, sometimes it's better for them to see co-parenting work out civilly and amicably than it is to be like having a whole blowout, drag out, and then or even trying to pretend that things are good when they're not, then they're not really getting a good example of like what could be and how to get their own self-esteem. Like it kind of shapes who they are. Cause you know, kids are like sponges. We're adults and we're like sponges. Oh, she was in love with you. Probably maybe, maybe, I mean, she really did lie to me a lot, our whole friendship, and I just didn't even see it. She didn't tell me that her husband of forever was cheating and doing all of these things. And I was like, I'm supposed to be your best friend. You didn't tell me none of this. You're telling me after the fact. Now he's gone. I'm like, wait, what? So, I don't know. You better go in the sink like bridesmaids. Thank you, Emmy. Relatable AF, yeah. Thank you. You're an amazing reader. Yeah, don't these haters ever get exhausted? It's like, I got my own sandbox. Go play in yours. Like, a lot of us had to learn how to play by ourselves, so we just can't understand these haters that are like, gimme, gimme, gimme that. Let me play with those. Let me in here. You're like, go get your own shit. I'm busy. You know, what should I do if I'm constantly left out of get togethers that my coworkers are making? Oh, I deal with that all the time. This is my cup of tea. Be glad that you're not there. Okay. I used to cry you guys because I got FOMO and I was like, oh my gosh, they left me out on purpose and I wasn't supposed to be there. The universe's rejection God's rejection is your protection. If they are leaving you out, there is a reason you are not supposed to be there. Let me give you an example. One time I was invited and I could not even get myself in the car. I couldn't even do it. I must have paced in and out of the house 10 times. And my husband's like, it's okay if you don't want to go. And I'm like, I'm going to go because they never invite me. And I was invited. So like, I might as well go. Right. And then I had a meltdown. I cried inside of the house. Like, I don't want to go. A, I didn't want to go there without my husband because that's who's going to have my back before anybody. And so it was just like, if you really think about it, do you want to have anxiety the whole time that they've got little inside jokes and they've been talking shit all this time? It's just better to not, to not even get a front row seat to that, to where they could tag team you. No, never that. Never that. Be thankful that you are not invited be thankful that you are not included they see you as a threat they see you as a threat that's why you're not invited boom hi rich beef all right you guys i better head out i'm actually supposed to be somewhere else right now but then i gotta post the videos for members only so that was fun we should do that more your guys's questions where i don't pull anything we just do life advice so if you guys like that, let me know in the comments after the live stream ends. I had so much fun. Members only. You guys will be getting the next notification for an ad-free upload. You're kind of like vibe check for what's going on with you and love. Okay, you guys, don't forget to smash the you know what. Hit the bell. Duh. On um, Patreon, you guys have more content coming out this week. So I'm so excited. Everyone, make sure notifications are on. And just thank you for hanging out with me. And yeah, you are surpassing all that doubted you. Bust out the confetti. Alexa, play forever. If you guys missed yesterday's download, cue the good stuff. You are missing out. You are missing out. And if you missed out on the pep rally over the weekend for this eclipse energy, you need to have that on repeat, Pete, Pete. I'm here to, you know, cheer you guys on. You guys are not alone. You guys are my best friends. So thank you for Letting me be your favorite YouTuber, your bestie on the internet. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you, um, Savage Queen and anybody else that helped moderate this live stream. And I promise we'll be doing a love message soon. It's just I have to like log a certain amount of time for that. 
All right, I'm gonna go guys. Love you, toodles. I look forward to reading your guys' comments. Bye.